What was your most embarrassing experience that you can't forget? Embarrassing? Uh, there was one time, I don't know if I should say. I like really had to go to the bathroom and it was after school. And sometimes I would like take public transportation to go back home. And sometimes I would just wait for like hours after school. I would sit outside in the back of the school and I'd wait to be picked up. Uh, I really, really, really had to go to the bathroom, you know. But the school was closed. But luckily there was a friend. They lived pretty close to where I lived. I don't, I don't know their family. Like I'd never really been to their house before. But I was like, man, can I get a ride home? And luckily they had a... Uh, he had egg spray, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they were just being, you know, like a homie. You know, they were just like, look at this egg spray I got, isn't it cool? And I'm like, oh yeah, cool. And they were like, pff, pff, pff. and then they took me home and I was like, holding on for dear life. But it worked out, I got home. I'm looking forward to when they have like more AR tech. I know Apple is probably gonna release something, I bet. They're gonna try to, you know, revolutionize and lead the way to Metaverse. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so cool though? Because then I could be, instead of doing like a stream like this, I could stream to like an AR application or something, and then you could just wear your glasses and look at me and I'd be like on your desk. That might be cool if they actually got it to work. Who knows, one day, one day. There's some really cool stuff you can already do with like your phone and QR codes. For a while I was playing around with the idea of, uh, I think it's even possible now, like what I just said, having Amit on your desk. Like let's say I release a QR code, you guys have to print it, you just put it on your desk, and then you download the Amit application and you point your phone at the QR code, and all of a sudden, BAM! Amit's on your desk! 